it did. It did finally happen. I did, I did see the news. We, I, I will talk about it. That is what I'm here for. I'm just kind of going to let people come on in. So, we'll, uh, we'll let people come on in and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. Because I've got thoughts. I've got thoughts, I've got feelings, I have opinions. Uh, just, just, just bear with me. I, I will, I will talk about it. When we get there. Just, just, just let people come on in. Okay. I'll, I'm, I'm kind of pulling things up, too, while I, I... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll explain it all when, when, when it, when it comes up. Just, I'm, I'm kind of setting everything up here. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. So let me. So let's 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 sit and talk here. So recently, uh, I, so my as being my chat, you guys probably know that I am a fan of a pretty cult-like status or cult status esque, uh series of platformers called uh Gex <laughs> and uh it's it's been a very long running like joke on my channel uh but like there's truth behind it because I do genuinely enjoy the games and every time you know there's like an E3 or a a game awards announcement or whatever i i there's always that joke of like oh where's gex and i didn't i didn't think we were ever gonna get any news about it i thought crystal had like packed it up with their gecko they didn't seem to have any interest in in bringing it back um is gex revival real so let me move over here to the the screen here Pause my thing, and well, I, I have, as I said, I have thoughts and opinions of this. So let me just play this out, and I will, I, and I, I will talk about it. So, some questions arise, uh, just on that alone. <laughs> um, for starters, what is, yeah, exactly, what is the carbon engine? Um, don't know. Uh, couldn't tell ya. Um, is this going to be, yeah, I, I, I figure it's quiet, but I, I'm not worrying about it. You didn't really hear much. It's just it, it's it's just uh were you expecting someone else that's 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 all you missed. There's not a whole lot there. um but yeah, so what is the carbon engine is 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 my first question. 
Second of all, I see Squeenix is attached to it, but I thought... I thought, uh, Crystal... I thought Crystal and Eidos had Gex back. Because for their 20th anniversary, uh, there was, like, the, they had showed Gex on their little, their little profile for a little bit before taking him down. So do they know, do they just not have Gex anymore? I'm confused. I'm confused by that. So it's like, what is, what is going on there? What is the carbon engine? I see it's going on to steam. I'm hyped about that. That's really cool. Because even if, even if this is, because this, this brings me to my next question. Gex Trilogy, is this going to be like the Spyro Trilogy, where everything is remade from the ground up? Or is this just going to be extra ports to the new systems? To Switch, PS4, PS5, Series X, and what have you. Um... It's basically emulation, so there's a good, good chance that this is just, that this is just gonna be a port. That's a little disappointing if it is, but, presuming it's not, right? Presuming, like, what, what are they doing with this? There's a lot of questions that is left unanswered. So for me, you guys would think that I'd be very, like, super hyped, super bouncing in my chair, like, screaming and stuff like that. And internally I am. Let's, let's not get it twisted. But we don't have a lot of information here. It'll take ports if it means a very slim possibility to X4. It's true. They, they did, um, like, their, their beginning thing here is, like, yeah, the world has changed. Old begets new. Like... It, there's... There's some... Poss... Like, there's some, like... Hints at this maybe being... Like, a Spyro Reignited trilogy, but I don't... Know. Yeah, the, you, you, you guys would expect me to be, like, all hyped and, and screaming and, like, incredibly happy. And, again, don't get me wrong. I'm happy to see Gex News. Because we don't... We don't get Gex News often. And any time we do, it's always, like, a fucking mystery as to what it is we're even getting. But I'm not, like, super hyped yet. Because... This is one of those things where it's like, I don't know what's going on, and I don't know when we're going to know. So... Shrug. <laughs> I... I'm interested, I'm intrigued. Limited run has my interest. They have my attention. You just hope they add a save system to the first game? Same. That's like their big that's like the big thing that I'd hope. Uh but yeah. It's uh a little cautious about what's to come. I'm not really cautious, cause like it's it's Gex News either way. The worst case scenario is either A, this doesn't come out, uh, in which case we're back to square one. Um, like, that's, that's, that's choice A. Choice B is that this is just emulation, and so it's just ports to new systems, which we had during the PS3 era, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. It's just another instance of a port. And then it'll come out, and then no one's gonna care, and then that'll just be it. Like, I just... it'll... It's not gonna matter. What do they do? Tinkering, make it so Gex 2 and 3 have all the levels from both PSX and N64 versions? You can't do that. Um, Mythology Network is different in 2 and 3, so you would not be able to do that. But yeah, worst, worst case scenarios is that this... 
either doesn't come out or it's just a port. And if it's if it's just a port, then it's just gonna be like the PS3 era all over again. Which don't get me wrong, it's still cool, but I'm not gonna be like as excited for ports again because like if I wanted to play the games, I have them on like either on my computer, on another system, or I just have the legit copies. So shrug if if it's if it's another port um it's i i'm just gonna raise my hands in the air and just go yeah i guess cool <laughs> it's something i guess best case scenario is that this is like the reignited trilogy which means there'd be a chance for a renewal in the gex series um which would be cool but also i'd be a little worried about that uh, just seeing Squeenix attached to it is a little worrying. I don't know. Uh, I'm excited. For sure. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm excited, but I'm, like, excited in the sense that, like, I want to see more. I want, I want more news. And I don't know, like, when we're gonna get new news because like this just happened like this just was announced so we'll see no, it's not, again, it's not even cautiously optimistic, because the worst case scenario is that it doesn't come out, which means we'll be back to square one. I don't, because I don't... I look at this, and I don't see anything necessarily bad coming from it. Unless, I guess, it's like a reignited trilogy, and they, like, attach NFTs to it. I'd hate that. Oh god, I would hate that. That's, I guess, worst case scenario. <laughs> Again, it's because the Squeenix attached to it. I'm, I'm scared. If it was Crystal and Eidos, I'd be better off with it. Or if it was... Well, I already knew Limited Run had... Had, uh... Had the... the things on their own. There's also Embracer. It could have been Embracer. If it was Embracer, that would have been cool. But yeah. <laughs> Me being the, I guess, the local Gex fan. Or, like, the biggest Gex fan in, in our, like, friend groups and stuff like that. I figured you guys were interested to know my thoughts. And so... These are my thoughts. So... Uh... Yeah. Very muted thoughts for now. Um... But I'm intrigued. I, I cannot wait to see... Where they go from here. Anyway. Uh... I didn't expect to stay on long. I just wanted to get my thoughts out there. Um, and as I said, I figure you guys would want to hear it, me being the, the big Gex fan of, of the area. So with that, I'm probably gonna go join, um, Ellie in her stream. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and go rate her. Um... So, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, and we'll see how it pans out. Later, guys.